Okay, next part of the video, we're going to show you how to rename the batteries. So, when you first connect to our app, uh, you can see 12 volt batteries, um, you can scan 24 volt batteries, you can scan for our 48 volt batteries, and you've got a custom tab where all the custom ones are going to show up. So you can create custom labels um, for your battery so that if you're out camping with your mates or whatever, um, it's easy to identify your batteries because you can create custom uh, labels. And also awesome for our dealers when they've got to have several vehicles in the workshop, they know whose customers' batteries they're connecting to. So back to the 12 volts, we're going to connect back to our 100 amp hour battery that we've been charging and playing with. Okay, and it's nearly approaching full charge, so the current's now tailing off. Um, the state of charge is now waiting for a final reset. And once that battery pack's fully charged, which is getting very close now, um, you'll be back at 100% and ready to be, uh, to be discharged. Now, um, you can see after charging at 100 amps, we've only increased about 52 degrees, so very little temperature increase. Um, the cells can be charged, you know, at up to 65 degrees without any issues. So that's um, that's all within range and all happy there. Now, uh, re renaming the batteries, very, very simple. Click the top right corner here. It's gonna ask you for a password. That password is rename. So you're never gonna forget to rename your batteries. The password is rename. Um, and it's renamed using the key, the numeric keypad on your phone, on a keypad. So, rename using the keypad is 736263. So put in the password, press OK, and you can rename your battery. So this was, let's just call this one Joe, Joe Blow. Done. Modified successfully. Now, that uh, name has been written uh, to the battery and when we do a refresh here you can see it's no longer popping up okay because now when we scan for this battery it's going to come up in the custom area and there he is so that battery now is Joe Blow it's no longer coming up in the 12 volt area and there it is so you can click on that connect to it and that's Joe Blow's 12 volt battery. Um, and now you can see it does come up here with the name. Uh, and the MAC address is always there. The MAC address is permanent, it's never gonna change, but you can rename the battery. Um, now, if you wanna go back to the default um, label and put it back into the 12 volt area, it must have a 12 V um, in the name to show up here. Okay, so most of our batteries are DCS dash 12 volt, whatever uh, battery pack it is. Go back to custom. Let's connect back to this guy. Um, we want to call him. So, for example, the password again renames to 736263. And we're going to call him the 12 volt. Um, best battery, All right? and press OK and that's been modified successfully and now you can see it's coming back up in the main 12 volt tab as the best 12 volt battery so as long as you have that identifier in there it will still come up in that uh, in that section